Now, some people see it as a opportunity. Other people see it as a fantasy. This one student started Shopify dropshipping with a dream and goal to be different than the rest. He couldn't imagine himself going through the regular life of getting a nine to five job and then retiring at the age of 70 years old and finally living the retired life. He truly wanted to be different. Now he came to me when he already started Shopify dropshipping, but he was struggling to break through and see the results that he wanted. After reviewing some of the stores and products that he's tested, I realized that he was doing something very, very wrong. A lot of the products that he was testing and the websites and offers he was creating was not up to par to get the results that he wanted. Although he's working super hard on his business, he was doing the wrong things that was stopping him from the success that he wanted. And after learning from me, recently he's hit some crazy success with his Shopify dropshipping store and did over $250,000 in sales in under 65 days on a store that we're partnered on. Another amazing success story in the books. Now, hopefully this video motivates and inspires you to really live up to the true potential that you deserve and not settling for anything less than that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this amazing interview with my student, Avi. And if you want to be my next success story, go ahead and click the link in the description to book a call with either me or one of my team members, and we can see if it's the right fit to work together. With that, enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to this exclusive interview with one of my students. I'm Avi. How are you doing today, brother? Doing great. How's everyone in the chat doing? I think everyone's amazing. You, they're probably going to be watching the replay of this. Um, and uh, I know it took a while to convince you to finally come on this interview. Why did you finally decide to do this? Since I didn't hit the milestone that I really wanted to hit, and I did have a lot of up and down for dropshipping, some stressful times, as usual, um, a lot of learning curves, which I love and beneficial. That's why I love working with you, Sam. Um, you have a lot more connections than me, so I learned a lot more. And I just hit my big milestone recently. So I was like, you know what? Sam asked me to come in a, to do an interview. Why not? doesn't hurt me. just benefits you guys. So I'm in it with you guys. I love it. And uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely, I know for a fact that a lot of people watching this interview are going to get a big fuel of motivation because I know you're struggling for a little bit with your dropshipping uh, journey. And uh, recently you had a store that absolutely blew up. How much sales have you done in the last uh, three months or so with your store? Last three months, you probably hit 270K in revenue. That's crazy. Good for you, bro. How does it feel? It's crazy. It's, it's so much to, like I can't even like comprehend it, you could say, right? Because I didn't think it's like crazy possible. I obviously saw you do it, I saw your brands do it, I was with you guys. Um, but I was more in the sketchier side, right? Which everyone might may feel. Um, because you guys think people are faking online, which some people do. What that's why we think it's ske sketchy. And right. I just I found a like, winning product, I was devoted, I kept doing the hard work. And boom, just you need that one product, sometimes one brand, and it could blow up. Then you just learn something from there and just continue. Um, I know we've met three, almost three years. I think we're about to close in on three years that we that we first met. Um, how did how did you come across me? So I heard about you through high school, right? That's I actually heard of you. That was the first time I heard about dropshipping. That's how I learned dropshipping. I never heard about dropshipping before. And my friend was in high school. We were just in class talking about trying to make money, uh, maybe not going to college mm -hmm. and see if we could do that, po if that's possible before getting married or anything, you know, make something financial stable. And I heard about you. I was like, you know, I know this kid already. Um, he's from the area. And I was like, you know, what? let me see his Instagram. Let me see his socials. Let's see if it's legit. Um, and it was pretty fascinating to me. And since then, I learned dropshipping. I was devoted. I remember I went from one partner to another partner, keep, keep on the grind, at least for the first year. I was crazy with it. We made we learned a lot pretty quick, I'll be honest with you. I had a partner, Solomon, and we learned a lot in the beginning. We probably hit 10K in a month, the fourth month of doing dropshipping. Brandable, it was crazy. That was just, that was four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So I know, I remember when you first came to me, you guys were like spam testing a ton of crap products, right? Remember that? Like when you yeah, guys we had back and forth with it. Yeah. And like I saw right away and you guys came to me, you're like, Sam, like we're trying everything. It's like not working, right? Like, like what are we doing wrong? What did like remember we were going through your websites and your products and I'm like, okay, this is a terrible product, terrible product, terrible website. Right. Do you do you remember like how that 
kind of felt like to see that, like you're doing like the wrong, you're doing a lot of hard work. You're doing the wrong things. Like, was that a big eye, eye opener for you? So it was a big eye opener for us. Right. And the reason why you gave valid points, for example, I don't remember the, we did so many stores. I did so many stores before. I don't know mm-hmm. what exact store was three years ago compared to two yeah. now. And I know it, we did pretty good on branding, but the thing is we didn't find the right product to hit. Maybe we hit three out of six points that need to hit for the audience. And the other three points were very valuable too. That's what it didn't sell as well. Maybe I broke even, but it's not really possible and long journey. Got Just you. take consumes my time and the learning curve. That makes sense. So what Avi's trying to say is that in order for a product to really, really explode and do and be that life-changing product for you, it needs to hit all the characteristics. I remember I showed you that characteristics sheet. Was that like, how did that help you um, select the right products? Yeah, we didn't really just show me the sheet. We as partners, like we went through it, we dived in, we went through different products. We explained what was the problem. We had charts. I remember everything. Yeah. So what a lot of people try to do, and I see this a lot, they go to AliExpress or like they see like a product on their feed and like, oh, this looks cool. Let me test it out. And it's like this gimmicky drop shipping AliExpress product that like would never work. Um, And I think that's what like 90% or 95% of drop shippers out there do. They try to like spam test these crab products and think they're going to hit success. And I think that recently you've seen that just by making that change of using the right strategy to find the right products, you can really, really do well. Um, I want to talk about in, uh, about the product that you found that you scaled to, well, we scaled together to 270,000 in sales. And I think it was like 65 days, like some crazy, crazy number. Um, I made like a video on my yeah. Let's release a sheet, right? How many likes do you think we should get? 250 in the link? All right. So free. Okay. Yeah, I should. I should. I might like uh I think I might have, have a, a video on my channel that um goes through that that characteristic sheet. So um so yeah, you guys probably find it on my channel. But Avi, let's talk about how you found this product. And it's okay to like, just, I want to give as much as value as possible. Tell them exactly like the step-by-steps that you did to find this product. So me and my partner Solomon want to find another product to test, right? This was probably March time this year. And I was going through PPI, looking at some stuff, collecting different items to see if it's good product. And we want to go clothing niche, this niche, a lot of products are not too good, right? I remember one product that I did see was the Dino Nugget, right? If you heard anyone mm-hmm. saw that, if you're looking for product mm-hmm. research, and I was like, you know what? I think this could hit crazy. Number one, McDonald's is huge, and the Dino Nugget everyone loves, and plushies are very good, big um, niche, right? So if you combine two big ones, you're most likely to sell. But then my partner said, you know what? That's not a viable business for long term. That's drop shipping, mm-hmm. right? We can make fifteen thousand dollars right now in the month. That's well, not worth it, you know. Right. I want to have something valuable, and so I found we were looking for more products. It probably took a week, two weeks, um, finding some products. Then we found a product. We legit tested two products on the same day, um, and one of them blew up. One of them did not perform well, and then we just let it ride. And that was the whole the whole plan. If you do TikTok ads, you have to let the ads ride for at least two days, three days, because there's a learning phase. We did not. I learned that the hard way. Just spend money. You may have, we had killer products back then, three, four years ago. Just we never let the testing, advertising do what they want to do. Mm. And it just killed the momentum. So we think, no, what we did, we tested pro- two products. One of the products did super well, one did not. So we're still break even. We're like, let's still ride. And which yeah. product did you end up choosing? And then it switched, actually. And the other product was doing well. Interesting. Let's say number two was doing well, and number one was doing bad. And this was after how many days? Like, did you? Three, two, three, three days, right? Okay. And we saw that was dying down and the cost of goods it was crazy. Like, not cost of goods. I meant CPA was doing crazy. It was the cost like, you know per purchase, it? right? Yeah. So then we closed that. We let the second product run and we got 250K. We actually built a brand with that product. And 250K, 65 days later, Crazy. That's awesome. Congrats, by the way. And I know that that brand, um, that that scaling, it's just just started. I know recently you've had some TikTok issues. Like we've we've really ran into some roadblocks there, but that's just part of the business. 
Um, and you know what? We know we're we're headed to that million very soon, that seven figure club. So, and then maybe even sell the company six figures. That'll be a nice That'll cash out. Interview. Yeah, maybe we'll do another interview on that. Well, I actually did that with one of my students, Ade. Um, you like that was a crazy interview because we recorded a video of like hitting 30k in a single day, and then uh we sold the brand, and then I did another interview. So maybe we'll do the same thing here. Um but what would you say, like, I think a lot of beginners are going to be watching this as well as advanced people, but like, what would you say that you were doing wrong um, in the first place that was stopping you from getting to such success like this? So there's many wrongs to make the right, right? It's everything is wrong until you see someone else doing it and learn from that. Um, even what you think you're doing right now may be wrong too for someone else. Maybe so every business is different. For example, my business may work four dollars. I have to some a customer has to pay to get free shipping. Your business may do better free shipping depending if it's a lower cost product. It all depends. Um, there's nothing wrong or or right. Just what do you think you are doing? What do you think that that you are messing up on? Um, maybe it was your website designs, product research. Like where were you going wrong, and that that finally clicked and everything. First of all, product wise, right? I think the branding wise, we're doing well. Um, random colors, name, um, the flow and how the website flows. And that was pretty well. There's the product was the issue and we didn't get down the, the right target, not, we didn't get the right structure for how an ad should be performing on TikTok, for example, right? It should be a good hook for the first two seconds. If you legit a half a second is not good in the beginning, that's all you lost it. What would you say is like, for, for ads, because I know like you, you got some amazing creatives uh, and ads are ready to go. Like, I'm guessing you ripped that from PP. Did you edit them and put them together? What was the structure behind that? Uh, we wrote them in PP from the beginning, right? By the way, I'm just going to stop for one second. PP ads, guy, by the way, guys, is a spy tool that we use. Um, I'm not really affiliated. I'll put like a link in the description. Not really affiliated with them, but I'll try to get a discount code for everyone if you want to try it. But um, it shows you like top products. It shows you like creatives that they're using. But yeah, continue. So yeah, we use PPIs. We did rip the content from other other brands for the beginning. I think that's the best option for the beginning testing right. phase. You yeah. always want to validate the product or the store um, before you advance to it. So we did that first. We saw we had some winner videos and some not winning videos obviously on tiktok all winning videos die down it could take a week it could take a month who knows so we recreated um more videos according to that winning video for example we did different hooks different variations uh different combinations to make it also better got it cool we have, that. we have a team for that too cool and why did you choose tiktok ads um as the platform TikTok is Run easy ads. to launch, right? And I have the most, I have been doing it for three years. So I'm more similar with it. For example, t Facebook is more complicated. Obviously, you could do it. That's more of advancing to the next level for your brand. And TikTok was where it was. Snapchat, we tried also Snapchat in the beginning because the product was validated. We had some issues with it. It just wasn't performing so well. So we stopped it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Amazing. So TikTok, yeah, TikTok's very powerful. We've seen a lot of success in that. And now obviously now you're trying uh Facebook ads, right? And that's that's yeah, gonna be Facebook ads. We did Snapchat, we're trying to expand that too. Google then, also. Oh, Google is doing pretty well for us. Like yeah, 15, 20 or I. Yeah. Uh, so so the strategy with Google obviously is brand search to start, meaning if someone goes on your on Google and types in the brand name or the product name. Um, the website will pop up there. So that's awesome. Good for you. And uh, what, what would you say is like your future plans? Obviously you got something working here, right? You've had some awesome, yeah. awesome success over the last 65 days or so. Um, what would you say is is your next steps and, and your vision and your goals here? So our vision is the brand, right? We're trying to hit that $1 million goal within the year. Um, plus, I know what's working in that brand. For example, if I do want to start another brand, I know what's valuable from that. I learned some different stuff that we tested and it worked really well. And if we combine all that with all the information, the next brand, let's say, has 60% chance of success. And I know how to move on forward. 
Hmm. So that's the whole yep. game, you know. You have to learn your percent. You have to, it's a learning cur- curve. And the more you learn, the more percent you get to having the next store be more successful. That's awesome. So I know that you've built a lot of skills through the drop shipping, being part of the drop shipping world, um, like making websites, creatives, launching products, maybe even developing a product in the future. Right? Is that is that on the you're horizon? Do the job correctly. Yeah, your your work ethic, um, just seeing it's possible. Uh, what would you say? Like, obviously, that's like a huge part. Like, actually building skills. Like, what do you what do you say? It might even be more, uh, more. I guess more building skill than than someone could go through college and like versus drop shipping, right? Because like a lot of people don't realize, like, launching a drop shipping store. Like, and I've seen this. People have learned more in in ecom operators university than a whole business like business school in two yeah. three years, right? Like. Talk about that, like building skills, right? Like talk a little bit about that. I'll tell you, right? I was also in college, right? Uh, business classes, this, whatever. You know, obviously you want to learn from different areas in the field, but I'll tell you what's the difference between learning in college and doing, let's say, Ecom Uprise University, right? For example, when you're doing a business in school, um, it's boring. You're just getting information. You're not utilizing it and you're not putting the effort where you learn. So university, let's say your course, that I learned, right? Um, you legit adapt what you learned quickly. You, you already made the Shopify store um, and then you just adapt. Let's say, this, oh, this is the best way to build my store. It's the best creative, it's the best hooks. So you adapt quickly and that's how you learn. You obviously may fail a little bit, but you are going to adapt still. That's the whole pers- purpose of a human and learning phase. I love that. And then I know, obviously, like, having me by your side, like to be able to ask questions and just like, talk to me about that. What was your experience working with me and learning from me? Um, You learn, you have a lot more experience than me, right? So if you guys find someone more experienced in anything in life, right? Business, you need more help in life relationship, right? You, want, you always want to find someone that has more experience and learn from them, right? Learn from, learn from them and get more connection. So for example, three years ago, Sam was looking to hire more people um, in his niche uh, for business, drop shipping, whatever, to help him grow 5x, 10x. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm nearby, not bad. I know this stuff already. Came in first day, you're, you're, in, you're on the team. Crazy, right? I learned from him. He did five times more than me in numbers, right? So he has more connection than me. That's the best thing to utilize both of us. He needs me, I need you. So that's what the best thing to do. I love that. And and this is like a lot of people has asked me like, Hey Sam, like, are you hiring or whatever? Like you guys came in, you're like, yo, like we're ready to work. Um, this was three years ago. Like I don't hire anyone in person anymore. Instead, like I'm, I mentor people more online now, like, you know, uh, through, through my program and, and my university and everything in my community. Um, and part of the reason why I kind of teach people, um, is because a lot of my successful stores have started from people like Avi, from people like in my university, they find a winner product, we partner together and we scale it to crazy numbers, um, or even they scale it on themselves and they become a testimonial and they just keep spreading the fire and the army um, that we got going on. And uh, that's truly amazing to see. And uh, more than ever, like I want case studies, like that's what I want. So um, we're trying to improve every single day. And, and I'm so happy to see that, that you're really exploding your sales um, with, with drop shipping and whatnot. And, uh, and, and I'm super excited to see what comes out in the future for you. Do you have any last um, piece of, of motivation for those people either looking to get started with drop shipping or already started drop shipping and just like, it needs that 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 extra motivation. Uh, what would you say? Because yeah. I know 100% don't give up in the beginning. You obviously need a couple months to learn the skill and benefits. Um, you obviously could do it faster way if you have someone. Or for example, you can even use tools like Shop Hunter, right? Um, you find, for example, you find a winning product already. You find different stores that has it. Utilize what how they offering the product, and you can learn skills like that. Test it yourself. That's how you advance yourself from one x to three x. Of work um so always yeah oh i guess yeah look always kinda. look um what people are doing and what's working for them that's number one number two just don't give up after a couple months you got it just strive at it yeah. grind hunt just don't stop 
Uh, that's yeah. that's underrated, by the way. A lot of people like right before they hit about to hit their crazy success, they like stop or they slow down. Like, no, like you get better every single day, you're gonna hit it, you know. And the, I think the main thing to it is not just grind, strive, and whatever. It's belief. Have hope it's gonna work. If you don't think inside is gonna work, you're just not gonna strive. You're not really striving for. It. You're not really grinding for. It. You're just looking for the money wise or whatever you're looking for. You're not really putting your whole heart to it. Mm, that makes sense. What 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 kept you going throughout the process? So what kept me going is a very good question. Um, I did have up and downs, right? It was hard. I'm still in it three, four years ago, uh, from three, four years ago. And what kept me going is I wanted to be financially free um, or even happy, right? Because I don't want to go to the whole college, right? I did avoid that in the beginning. I went back and forth with it. It's annoying. Um, this, when I did dropshipping, branding-wise, it was so much enjoying, so much fun to it, you know? Um, ads, this, so much going on, making a store. It's just fun, you know? It's creative-wise. That's nice. what I love. Uh, you enjoy the process. You learn to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love that about you. Like, you really, like, love, like, to launch products and stores. Like, you, you just found the passion in it. And I'm sure it wasn't always like that. Like, you learned how to love it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I... It's up and down still, right? Um, when for example, let's say I'm making stores every once a month, two, right? I'm, like I'm winning, maybe I'm break even. But if I'm making six stores a month, it's a little more annoying because mm-hmm. it's like how repetitive could this get? But you always gotta take a lesson from the last store you built, or mm-hmm. why didn't at least case study yourself? Actually, I think everyone should case study yourself on wow. your store and see what was wrong and what you can improve on. Maybe your product was the issue. Maybe in the story was the issue. That's uh, big. A lot of people aren't honest with themselves. They they wouldn't even buy from their own website. They wouldn't sell their product to their mom, as they say. Um, yeah. so that's cool. And I know like the product, the product and the brand that you have, and that we're scaling, you you would probably sell that product to your mom, right? You would you would be confident. I even showed it to people. They're like, This is your brand. I was they're like, like, damn, yeah. that's that's cool, right? That's yeah, like, a, that's cool. isn't that a cool feeling? Yeah, I was like, Yeah, it was. Uh, that feels good you know yeah that does feel good that's so cool well I think that's the best way to test your store at least send it to three of your closest people let's say let's say a woman and guy and then you one of your friends one of your just, dogs yeah <laughs> see what's their response to it right um is this a cool product does it hit me um is it clean because they may even fight type typos or anything issues with it that's true so, that's true i love it cool so First of all, thank you for uh, hopping on. I know, I know it's a little out of your comfort zone, but we appreciate you. And you know, I hope a lot of people got the motivation um, that they needed to take that leap into the dropshipping world to get started, or to get you know really take start taking it seriously if they haven't already, or to keep through it. Um, and yeah, uh, we appreciate it. Take it to the next level, always. What's what's your next level? How are you going to take things to the next level? For example, you guys know I did two hundred seventy k in sixty five days almost 100k months right um next level is probably 200k months and trying to hit the 1 million within a year or next after that is probably 1 million in six months hell yeah let's go i love it mate yeah we never know we'll see we'll see you very soon again on this channel but uh appreciate you and have an awesome awesome day peace out let's go